Hey everyone, what's up? This is Uri for Gorilla Poker and today I'm gonna be reviewing some hands uh, played on high stakes by various crushers. So let's dive into it. This is a six max hand. Uh, three players are gonna be involved. Flash, Angry Ogre and Maria Saba. Of these guys, I know Angry Ogre. I know Angry Ogre is a long time high stakes pro and I don't actually know the other guys. Judging from even a pre-flop action, you can tell that Maria Saba is a more likely recreational player. So Flash raises, uh, cut off Angry Ogre three bets and Maria Saba cold calls out of position. Uh, most professionals don't do this very often, so that's like a big sign. I'm not saying you can't do this or you shouldn't do this, but they, they just don't. That's the current meta game. And we get a jack five six two tone board. Maria Saba leads for pot into two guys, gets raised. Angry Ogre calls the raise, and Maria Saba calls. So we have insane flop action now to cold call a three bet and then pot donk jack six five is pretty crazy. Like, th does this board hit your cold calling range in particular? I, I would tend to say no. And if you hit fives or sixes or jacks, you're certainly not pot donking. So the, the play is very non-theoretical, but you know, we still have to judge like which hands would someone do this with and probably pretty strong hands. I don't know if this is five, six suited, ace, jack, pocket, queens, some kind of big draw. Flash shoves, presumably again, just big draw or good jack, feel like, like the, the type of hands it would shove. Angry Ogre cold calling the shove. I, I guess he'd have to have jack, hex of diamonds, Ace high flush draw, maybe ace jack plus, maybe even better than ace jack, maybe queens plus. And then Maria Saba calls, and, and here I really want to pause because Maria Saba and, and Angry Ogre are super deep. So generally, if Maria Saba had a set, more money would go in. So we're not putting him on a set. In terms of hand reading, I now cap him at, at like having a jack or a bunch of draws. Here he checks, Angry Ogre. Shoves all in for a bit ab above pot. Here I'm expecting an over pair, which if he's hand reading, you know, should be the best hand easily. So Angry Ogre has kings, as expected. Uh, Maria Sava has queens, which is kind of the hand strength we were talking about, right? Like, not a set, but fairly strong. Could have seen 7-8 of diamonds, a 7 of diamonds type of hands as well. But like, he's strong enough to pot donk, he's not exactly falling, but he's not thrilled to get stacks in. And Flash has 4-3 of diamonds, so really, really big draw. Which maybe should have folded pre-flop, probably should have folded pre-flop, but got there on the river. Really, really cool hand. If you're called calling out of position, Queens is a cool hand to do it with it, the stack depth, so I, I can get behind that. Once we get to the flop and pot donk, this is something I talk about in one of my first videos. The issue with donk betting and like Queens here is what happens when you check. And if you guys are playing against Maria Saba in any kind of multi-way spot, there's a very, very high chance that whenever he's checking, he's just check falling or, or you know, in a very middling part of his range. So you want to be attacking his checks and the donk bet is like, incorrect strategically but that doesn't mean you can take advantage of it in, in the hand where he donk bets because that's probably where his strong hands are okay so this is going to be a really cool hand involving royal mind and maria saba i do not know royal mind but maria saba like i said i have the, the suspicion he's a recreational player his checking ranges are going to be a bit too weak and he's going to be a bit of a direct player like not too many tricks and traps let's say of course if he makes top set everyone traps top set and traps boats but not, not a lot more than that so on this hand bit too easy raises under the gun royal mind from the small blind three bets him super huge and here it, it, it's important to think about what's going on like what's the explanation for the super huge three bet now I, I can see two explanations one is the royal mind's a bit of a recreational in that sense, you just do what, whatever you want with your hands and, and you're not necessarily aware of even the fact that this is a huge 3-bet. Or maybe you have ace-king, you want folds, you 3-bet bigger, everything goes. But if he's not a recreational, if this is more calculated, this is probably connected to Marius having the big blind who indeed cold calls uh, the 3-bet and they are super, super deep and maybe he's not even thinking about a bit, bit too easy, he's just thinking like, I have a good hand. Marius Saba plays loose let's build a big pot. So 
uh, indeed he three bets Maria Saba called calls bit too easy faults and we have this kind of strange heads up hand where Royal Nine's out of position super deep but the pot's already pretty big so e even though it's this big there they still have like 20x pot behind and in terms of 20x pot uh, it's also something to think about because on the one hand you're super deep on the other hand it's just 20x pot you know 20x pot is the SPR of a single raise pot so this this is going to play like a single raise pot in terms of the hand strength just kind of tighter ranges I don't know how loose Maria Sabe is but for for most guys this is like suited connectors pocket pairs uh, suited broadways maybe ace queen ace king stuff like that some guys go a lot looser uh, and Royal Mind for the big three bet, I'd assume, you know, high pairs and, and very strong suited hands. Royal Mind check calls, 974 two tone uh, versus half pot, eight of spades turn, he check calls versus half pot, and ten of diamonds river, so four to a straight, and he check calls versus half pot. Uh, so what could he have here? Aces, maybe, but what would aces call the river? I don't know, sometimes. Maybe something like jacks or, or tens those hands could conceivably play like this kind of pot control the flop call a turn with an open ender river top set kind of crying call i'd say something in the, in the pocket tens pocket jacks area probably for royal mind uh, we don't see a showdown we do see maria saba uh, showing up with a suited connector kind of hand you'd expect him to have flopped a, a big draw turned a, a flush but no knotted flush and, and actually made pretty pretty well sized bets for this kind of board so uh, well played a uh, nice 15k pot his way so another hand with with the same lineup maria sava still 900 big blinds at the table he's, he's covering the table uh, limps under the gun another sign of a recreational player the main issue is sometimes you want to raise how do the two ranges look and how face up things are so he gets isolated small uh, goes four way to the flop on king jack three everyone checks turn six and royal mind uh, who i don't know personally pot bets into everyone now king jack three six pot betting into the table uh you know feels fairly strong this kind of board i, I guess we just expect a big draw or a very strong value hand and then the threshold for what's a very strong value hand is that two pair plus is at king queen well, where exactly is that going to be is, is tough to say but definitely don't expect him to show king eight or ace jack or like queen nine more uh, four or five suited queen ten suited king queen king jack king three suited pocket threes those types of hands river king of diamonds royal mind shoves and flash calls and and flash even calling the turn i kind of expect him to have a combo draw because he didn't bet flop so i'm surprised to see him call the river but let's see the showdown royal mind has king jack kind of interesting spot for him because like he gets to the river with a hand that feels like it always wants to check but when he's so polarized on the turn that he bet pot if he checks king and jack a uh, flash would conceivably you know just check back his own kings uh, so I, I i can see the river shove you know after you got called i might have wanted to check to to get bluffs from from the draw so i, I might have played it a bit different and flash actually trapped flop with pocket threes and and got sucked out on on the river of course you're gonna call pocket threes i think there's no question because they may be royal mind is even value betting worse and, and of course bluffs are always a possibility so kind of crazy four-way hand it's shocking to me a bit to see someone like bet top two and, and river boat and, and put all the money in like this and not throw in a check like it's almost a a human instinct to check when you boat when you make a boat on the river rather than keep betting and, and, and solvers often agree with this though not always uh, but looking at this spot I, I think this is fairly reasonable i i, I don't mind the, the the river shove too much after flash calls a turn pot bet it's not like if you check he's, he's gonna have that many bluffing combos and, and yeah you, you you might stack a bunch of kings so it seems okay okay so another uh, maria sava hand jassam gal raises a button 3x he's 250 deep with maria sava who's still sitting on a forty thousand dollar stack on this table we get the king four five rainbow board jassam gal bets half pot now half pot bets kind of merged that means you're not betting everything like you could have sevens you could have eights ace five doesn't tell you too much turn nine of hearts and jassam gal now bets 517 to 735 uh, now here that this does tell you a bit about his range uh, 
because Jassam Gal is a high stakes player, he knows how to do bet sizing. Uh, bet sizing, one of the subjects I explain in the red line course, which you guys can see on the Gorilla Poker website. But he, he is going to know how to over bet here with a bunch of hands. So the fact that he sizes smaller uh, should tell you that his range is more centered around hands like pocket tens, pocket jacks, king ten, king jack, and less centered around like aces and two pairs and stuff like that. Of course, he could still have some traps in the range, uh, but I would expect the range to be a bit weaker. And then if I'm Maria Savad, you know, th this is a decent spot to check raise my really strong hands. If I have even something like 9-5, just check raise and, and get in more money on the river. And, and we do see a check raise from Maria Sava, who then uh, goes a bit above half pot on the ace river and shows down pocket fives for three of a kind. I don't know what Jassam Gal called him down with. Uh, you know, maybe a king, maybe river the ace, ace three of hearts or something. It, it's tough to say. Uh, but Mar Maria Sava building up his stack. And again, if you're playing this hand in terms of information, you want to see like how, how big did, did he bet here on, on the river with the three of a kind? How big did he raise? And, and how is this connected to the hand that we saw with six five of spades where he had a flush? There is a, a bet sizing pattern here potentially which you want to be paying attention to. He kind of likes these, these milky looking value bets it looks like. Uh, I, I don't know how, how he bets his bluffs, but definitely d don't think he's weak just because he's betting a medium-ish size. This hand, flash raises a cutoff, Jassam Gal calls, and we see another huge 3-bet from Royal Mind and a cold call from Maria Sava, who's, you know, we haven't seen loose showdowns yet, but he's probably fairly loose judging by, by these size 3-bets. Maria Sava calls, flash calls, and Jassam Gal calls, so we're four-handed to a flop. There's already 4k in a pot, which, which is insane. Uh, this, this never happens. If you ask me, without looking at showdowns, like what, what do the players have for flash to call a 20 big blind 3-bet? You need to be pretty strong. You need to be pretty strong there. I would be a bit scared in, in the other players' shoes. This is like aces, kings, queens type of hand. So we get jack, seven, five, two-tone, royal mind, who made the big squeeze checks. Maria Sava half pots, which we've seen a bunch of times is not necessarily weak, but we also saw the tiny donk bet with an over pair and that was actually pot sized. So he half pots, two falls, royal mind calls, 10 of diamonds, turn, check, check, six of hearts, river, check, check. I have no clue what these guys have. Uh, Royal Mind shows pocket eights, and Marisava shows six seven, which river two pair. So I would have expected that to bet the river. I, I can kind of see why not, because it, it, it's a dangerous looking board for six seven, and, and Royal Mind check calling, like, is he actually gonna check all you on the river with, with whatever medium strength hand he has? He's obviously not too strong unless he improved, and if, if he improved, you're not doing too well. Uh, but yeah, th this kind of shows the looseness of Maria Sava, where he called called a huge 3-bet with 6-7 offsuit. And th this is the first time you see something like this. This explains Royal Mind's big 3-bet. But you could guess in advance, just judging from the big 3-bet and the cold call, that this is what's going on. Maria Sava, probably a very high VPIP player, getting in there, playing hands, getting into pots. Cool hand, Royal Mind with, with a huge 3-bet, pushing a lot of equity. And played kind of calm, right? Maria Sava hit the flop. Uh, through a bet and protecting his equity, uh, which I would expect him to do, right? If you play 6-7 and you hit this board, you're like throwing a bet and seems reasonable and, and then did, didn't go too crazy after that. If I were Royal Mind, I don't know if I would have called, but yeah, presumably he's been playing for a while, ha has better reads than I do. So that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed the hand analysis. If you did, please like and subscribe to the channel and visit our website. We have a cool new course up bunch of things you should check out and I hope to see you there.